In your tech stack, flexibility is everything. I mean, just imagine if you had to run a relay race and you didn't speak the same languages as your own teammates. Sounds pretty chaotic, right? Well, that's exactly what's happening when the software you use internally doesn't communicate to each other. Essential information is being lost in those gaps. Now, fortunately, in today's world, we have a solution for that in the form of an open API. And as of right now, I'm excited to share that Vacation Tracker's open API is now available to everyone. So you can start using our leave data to bridge some of the gaps you may be having at your organization. Hey, it's David from Vacation Tracker here. And today's video tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how you can use the Open API add-on so that you can now connect Vacation Tracker's data to your own internal systems. To start, as usual, you're gonna to wanna to log into your Vacation Tracker account and we're gonna to navigate to the add-on section in the left-hand menu. It's here that you'll notice that you have two tabs available to you, My Add-ons and Discover More Add-ons. My Add-ons, as the name implies, are all the add-ons that you've currently purchased and are using, versus Discover More Add-ons are any add-ons that you have yet to purchase, as well as a few that haven't been released yet, so do be sure to check back every once in a while. In your case, what you're going to need to do is navigate to this Discover More Add-ons tab and you'll see there's actually going to be a button that says Review and Buy on the specific card you're interested in. In this case, you're just going to need to find the Open APR card that will look like this, but again, will appear in the Discover More Add-ons tab. Once you're here and you click on Review and Buy, you'll just be asked to confirm your purchase and then once it goes through, the card will appear here as you see in the My Add-ons section. Once we click on view for the specific API card, we will be taken to this page where we will have access to the documentation as well as be able to generate and manage our API keys. If we click on the open documentation button, you will be taken to this page where you will see the types of data that you can pass to your system. And if you open up the drop down menu, it will explain what exactly is being passed through. We're going to go back to the previous page so we can generate an API key. To do so, all we need to enter is a key name, and in my case, I'm going to use test and then click on the create new API key button. And then once complete, it will appear in the list above along with the current month usage as well as the secret key information. And if you need to create more, it's as simple as adding another name. If you scroll down as well, there is more information about quotas and rate limits, so I do suggest reading those. What we're going to want to do now is test the key and see if it's working. So we're going to copy over the secret key and head back to the open documentation section. If we click on this green authorize button, you'll be asked to enter in that value we just copy over and then we can click on authorize. And now it's as simple as doing a quick test. So if we open up the department section, there's a button that says try it out. So we're going to click execute. And then once this finish is loading, you'll see here the responses that come through. So you can see status okay. You can see all the departments that are being pulled through and you can also see that it's checking if it's the default department. And in this case, the vacation tracker department, if we head back to departments, should be our default, which is what we see here. Now, what you do with the information that vacation tracker provides or how you incorporate it into your system is going to be completely up to you. But if you did run into problems when trying to use the open API, I did want to point out that if you head back to the add-on section and click on the open API card again, there is a button here where you can leave us feedback directly on how it's working. Or if you need to get in contact with our developers, if you click on the open documentation, there's a button here that'll open up your mail client and you can email our developers directly. And with this, your systems are now ready to start working as one. Thanks again for watching this video. I do hope you find it helpful and informative, but as always, if you have questions or comments or just wanna leave some feedback for me, you can do so right down below and we will get back to you as soon as possible. In addition to this video, I do wanna remind you once again that if you do run into issues with the Open API, we have an incredible support and dev team here right at Vacation Tracker, so don't be shy about reaching out to them. That's gonna be all for this video. Happy vacationing.